Hey everybody, welcome to Router 2 Brief. I just wanted to give you a tank update, what's going on, what it looks like. Thank you very much for subscribing and liking the channel. I did a massive clean yesterday because I had uh, green algae on the whole back glass of the tank. There's still a little bit I gotta scrape off and wipe down with a towel because it's on the outside, it's just water. What you're seeing on the back of the tank there is just some water splash with some salt in it. But the tank looks kind of empty, because I guess it kind of is, as you know. I have seven clowns and a fox face. I have my cheaper lighting, which I love, the Phoenix light. Now, I want to go over what I did yesterday. Lids on a tank are a bitch to clean. I don't like doing it. I'm sure a lot of you don't like doing it either. I found a company that makes killer lids called Top Lids. But I looked for my 125 gallon, six foot long tank, It'd be like $572. Are you out of your damn mind? Look, I know this hobby is expensive and their product is killer. And they go over every step of the way designing the lid for you. They're very nice, but look, I don't have that kind of money. So anyway, what I did was, this is a glass lid, and it had the plastic lid in the front that attaches to here. But there was salt creep getting in the joint, and it was, it was just nasty. I prefer this a lot more because it's the best of both worlds. If you have any type of lid on your tank, the pros, it prevents water evaporating and it traps some of the heat, a little bit of heat in your aquarium. Some people have said when water escapes, there's more humidity in the room. I guess if you have a small room, that's a problem. Some other people have also said they get mold in the ceiling. I don't know, but luckily no issues with that. If you have no lids, that's a con because fish can jump out. And you're gonna have to replace the water due to evaporation at a much faster rate. I do not have an ATO, I do not dose anything, I rely on mother nature, so I'm replacing water like maybe a gallon every two days, maybe every day, I'm probably gonna have to do it every day now. So what I did is I removed the door, I get the best of both worlds. My light rests on top of the center brace and the glass, you know, a little teeter-totter action there. Um, the fish mainly stay on this side of the aquarium. They rarely come up to the front, so that's fine. Um, I really, really, really love the open aquarium, and I was thinking about taking this off, and I was looking at getting some Kessel lighting, but that, again, is really expensive. Again, really great lighting, really great equipment. I'm not dropping that kind of money, so maybe someday, I don't know. And when I do that, I'll have the lights hanging over the tank with no glass or no lids possibly, which also is great because there's no diffusion because the light has to get through the lid. And when the lid, glass or acrylic, whatever you use, when it gets crappy, the light has to penetrate the glass, which diffracts it. And then it has to penetrate the garbage that's on the lid, which is salt creep. So the light has to fight to get through the glass, which means if you have coral in the tank, you're kind of depriving them of some light because the light has to get through the glass or the acrylic and the salt creep, which means you've got to clean these lids more often. I love the open tank, no lid, because there's nothing to clean, really. Big deal, you go over the top with a towel for salt creep. Anyway, that's that. So that's what's going on there. I still have the... I kind of don't like the way this looks on the back, but it's it's not that bad. I wanted a clean look, but there's a lot worse out there that you've seen on YouTube. That is for massive filtration for the, I got the, I got to clean this door too, the Fluvul FX6 canister filter. I'm using it mainly. There's a bunch of foam in there. Mechanical filtration, it's a beast. And then what I wound up doing is I've got the return. I was going to take the return into the canister filter on the left side, but I decided to buy some more tubing 
and take the return and tee it off over here. So I still have my original eShops filter with some foam pads and pads. Filtration goes down to my skimmer and then both return pumps are there. So returns are teed off. I mean the overflows are teed off going into here for filtration, protein skimmer, and then return pumps are in that last small chamber. So I get the best of both worlds. I have a sump and I have the Fluval FX6 which is a beast at filtration. This MP, this Vortec MP40, it's kind of dying out. It's on its last legs. The controls don't even work. It had like different pulse settings. Right now it's just on one setting and that's it. I'm going to get rid of that and get another power head. This power head by Hydor, they're great. It's just used to agitate the water at the top. Seven clown fish. Love those guys. And a fox face. <clears throat> so that's the tank. It looks looks so much better than it did. I have a little more cleaning to do. But that's it in a nutshell. Today I'm going to go and maybe get a Another clown or two. Some crabs. Maybe a coral, a star polyp. I miss having coral in here. But that's it. Hope you guys are well. Take care of yourselves, and I'll see you in the next video.